Hi, I'm Kyle George, Senior Technical Sales Engineer at Liberty Oil Field Services, and today I'm going to give a brief overview of the methodology that Liberty uses to evaluate friction reducers and how we select them for each type of job. Our main goal when choosing a friction reducer is to get the best possible product on location for the lowest possible price. The table shown on the right of the screen is a very simplified version of all the different variables that a Liberty engineer or account rep would take into consideration when choosing a product. Now you might look at this table and think, isn't there just one really good friction reducer that we can use for everything? Well, in a lot of cases the answer is yes, but to me that'd be like selling a Ferrari to every single person who wants to buy a car. We work hard to find products that will meet the requirements for each type of job without spending any additional money on something that we don't need. The list of products in this table encompasses the majority of FRs that Liberty has to offer, but it is only a small fraction of the hundreds of products that have gone through our rigorous testing process over the last few years. Now I would like to take a few minutes to describe that process and explain how these Liberty FRs were chosen and put into the different categories shown in the table. Unsurprisingly, the number one thing that we look at when evaluating friction reducers is friction reduction. We currently have two flow loops within the company, but all of our qualification testing is performed on our half-inch diameter flow loop in Williston, North Dakota. We test a variety of set points in tap water, as well as high sodium and calcium brines, as shown in the chart on the right. The main things that we look for are the maximum percent friction reduction and how quickly the product reaches that point in each variation of the test. This gives us a sort of fingerprint for each friction reducer and a good estimate of how it will perform in the field relative to existing low, medium, and high brine Liberty FRs. And of course, this is always something that we can confirm by testing in a customer's source water. If a product looks good on the flow loop, the next step is to check out its viscoelastic properties on our oscillatory rheometer in our Cibolo, Texas lab. Similar to the flow loop, we test the FRs under a variety of water and temperature conditions. Some of the elasticity testing was covered in a previous video, so I will just focus on the viscosity portion here. One of the great things about this machine is that it allows us to get detailed viscosity measurements over a wide range of shear, not just the 5-11 reciprocal seconds that's typically reported in the field. Several recent papers and slot flow studies have pointed to higher viscosities in the low shear range of 100 to near zero reciprocal seconds as being a key differentiator when it comes to prop and transport with high viscosity friction reducers. As you can see in the chart, even though all four of these products shared the same viscosity at 511, they vary drastically as the shear rate approaches zero, with linear gel along the bottom having basically the same low shear viscosity as high shear. Once again, we are more than happy to verify these viscoelastic properties with water samples from the field. The last test that we like to perform is a regain conductivity study to make sure that we aren't causing damage to the prop and pack by using a new friction reducer. By running conductivity tests, we can confirm that there are not any compatibility issues that severely impact the conductivity. Also, we typically test at a variety of temperatures and pressures representative of basins that we work in the most. These FR studies are often conducted with or without breaker, and in many cases, the conductivity returns to nearly 100% whether there is breaker or not, so we can frequently save customers money and reduce the chemicals placed into formation by eliminating breaker from their slick water and high viscosity FR designs. In summary, when selecting an FR to be a Liberty product or to be pumped on a specific job, we start by evaluating its performance on a flow loop. Then, its viscoelastic properties are observed on an oscillatory rheometer. And finally, we ensure that it will not interact negatively with our other chemistry. Thank you for your interest in Liberty. Please visit libertyfract.com to learn more.